the Federation versus Zeon. So, where we left off last time, uh, we were getting attacked at a battle coup. What up, TZ? Uh, let me think. Uh, we got pushed back into inside of a battle coup now, from from out here, which means the Federation's damn near won the war. So, I think we have like maybe two missions left to play as Zeon, and then the campaign's over on the Zeon side. Well, in general, it's over. Uh, and then we start the Federation play there. Let me, let me mute this real quick. The can popping might have been loud, so. All right, well, <clears throat> so the uh, objective is to destroy the white base right now, which is like the Federation flagship. It's where the Gundam, it's like the ship the Gundam was on. Uh, it actually does get blown up in the anime at the very end. Um, but what do we have? We have Shara's Gelgoog and a regular Gelgoog. So I think we'll take the regular one and uh, hope for the best. This is a very hard mission, so therefore it's actually very hard. I'm pretty sure this is not like a knockoff one. And we have the sad end of the game the track. Down. Switching to hand -to -hand combat. There it is. We gotta shoot this dude a lot. Yo, TZ, thanks for that prime sub, bro. 10 months. A long ass time. You won't get any more of us. So, I'm thinking the strat for this fight is probably just to avoid the white base crew. You just beat the fuck out of it. Like, use it as a barrier between us. Uh, until they do that. Now, uh, we can't do that anymore. Okay, so as long as... No, Kai! Look the fuck away from me, dude. Bro. Oh, we're fucking it up, though. It's kind of working. Hayato's derping out, so... I'm pretty sure Amaro does show up, though. And when that happens, we need to panic. <clears throat> oh, we're doing it. It's probably like one sh one shot kill for us, so we have to be real careful here. I don't know like what the best unit for this pro the, the oh the guy would have been really good though. Not I think about it with the with the close range abilities. Oh fuck! I think that's our boy. Nope, it's Kai. Okay, that wasn't that much damage. So Hayato and Kai don't die. So they're not gonna die here. Uh, we need to get out though. Just gotta keep the white base between us and them. And we win. We actually might have enough ammo to do it now. Come on, Rick Dom, distract him. The there it is. Woo! The white base. That actually wasn't that bad. Um, sadly, that's not how it goes down in the anime. The white base does get destroyed, but we don't. It's not as epic. Escort Allied Cruiser. Oh, there's two more missions, I think. Maybe not. Okay, so we have to survive, pretty much. And the Zanzibar also has to survive. I wish I knew how many more missions there were gonna be, because I would take Shara's Gelgoog, but if it's like the last, if it's not the last mission, I wanna save it for that. Um, We'll take a regular Gelgoog. And a two-star Rick Dom, and hope for the best. If Shar and Amaro show up in this mission, it's the last mission. Guard the Zanzibar until we are ready to depart. I am counting on you. Do you guys want a spoiler? The Zanzibar never departs. <laughs> a mobile suit. A mobile suit. Located an enemy mobile suit. Thanks, Casilio. Couldn't see him. Oh, we don't one shot. That sucks. Is there a delay? Obviously there is. I feel like, no. Oh, did I just get, no, I didn't take damage, okay. The ship is under attack. If I don't survive, Zeon will be lost. That's not true. Actually, it's not true at all. What is the mobile suit doing?
Dude, don't give me the friendly fire for this fight. Okay. Okay. What is the mobile suit doing? It's shooting you. And me, apparently. I think there is one more mission after this, so we probably made the right decision to not bring Shars Gelgud. It'll. Oh, dude, he staggered me. That's why we got hit. Uh -huh. This is like why you don't bring allies with, with bazookas. Somebody's gonna ha have to show up at some point here that's actually threatening. I feel like this has been too easy thus far. Let's hope that uh, these songs don't get DMCA'd also, now that I'm thinking about it. Because they're, I believe they're actual songs. But they're in the game, so I can't do anything about it. You actually, you can't like mute the audio, like the songs in this game. What is the mobile suit doing? Oh fuck, that's bad. We don't want you to do that. Okay. Wait, the music's changing, or is it restarting? Restarting. Oh wait, different song? No. No, I think it's the same song. What? It's on top of you. God damn it. Unlucky. Oh no! I fucked the boost up. He's shooting. The ally's just shooting the bottom of it. Alright, 50 seconds. I think we can do this. Unless Amuro shows up, then things might get scary. I really kind of wish the uh, the Gelgu just had a beam saber as, as opposed to the beam Naginata. Like it's cool, obviously it's like flashy, but like it'd be cool if he could only turn one side on. That'd be much better. So the reason the Zanzibar never makes it out is that Cassilia is the last zombie alive currently. And um, as you guys may or may not know, Char, it's getting out right now, but it actually doesn't get out. Um, Char doesn't like, well, the zombies fuck over Char. Like, I explained before, they like, mess his family up. They like, capture him, his family. They kill his dad, they, they assassinate his dad, they capture his mom. Well, she gets exiled. And, um, they take over Zeon. So Char has been on like, his rampage, like, getting revenge for like, the entire plot. So Cassilia is the last one left, she's taking off, he flies down in like, his like, spacesuit. Not in his mobile suit, in a space suit with a bazooka. Well, like a beam bazooka kind of thing. And fires it into the, uh, the, um, what is it, the bridge? And kills her. So this is the last mission, because the Gundam also does get destroyed at the end of Mobile Suit Gundam, but Amuro gets out, so. And then him and Char have a sword fight, which we don't get to see in this game. There actually is a game where you get to do the sword fight. It's, a, it's in, um, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Encounters in Space. We're not gonna get to see that here. So yes, we're fighting Amro. Char is here with us though, I th think. Or is this the part where the Gundam's on autopilot? It might be when the Gundam's on autopilot. It has to be. Yeah, it's missing its head already. And is it missing an arm? No, is it just missing its head? Yeah, just its head. 
So the iconic scene for Mobile Suit Gundam is the Gundam missing an arm and its head and firing directly up. So the reason it's firing directly up is Char, Char Zeong, on top of the Zeong, the head detaches as so like, like an escape pod style. And um, it's actually autopiloted. All, the Gundam's autopiloting itself and Char actually gets out of the Zeong's head and fires a beam down as it's happening. So it actually hits the Gundam and the Gundam hits Char's Zeong's head and they both get destroyed. And that's, then the sword fight happens after that. I'm probably butchering what actually happens, kind of. Like, it's that's the high points, but, you know. I thought that Char's... So, maybe it's on the Federation side, you get to see it. So, you actually get to see uh, Char and the Zeong, and, like, it gets destroyed and the head's floating around fi fighting instead. That Zaku almost stole my thunder there. So in reality, the Gundam's firing upward, the Zeong head fires downward, they both hit and kill each other. Oh, maybe there is a... Is there something at the end of this? Or is it just credits? So now that I'm... Now the way that went down, I'm wondering if we would have gotten a higher score if you get a different mission at the end with Char and Amuro in it. Actually, I don't remember, but that, that Zaku one's hitting the Gundam in the dick, and that's kind of awesome. <laughs> I kind of want to see the, the slideshow, but I'm kind of worried about the song playing. But we'll, we'll sit here, it's fine. I don't believe these are these are like clips from the actual game, like us doing something. I think they're just like pictures. You know what I mean? I think at least. I'm questioning it now. That'd be cool if they're actually from the game, but I don't think they are. Let's see. I honestly don't know. That'd be cool if they were, though. Uh, I'm waiting for like one to stick out really well. Like, oh yeah, we definitely did that. Because obviously it's just going through the high points of the story. So that, that would have been the Black Tri-Stars before that would have been Ron Roll. Well, hold on. This might be from the from our like end cutscenes because there's a big Zam on Earth right there, and we did do that mission. Now I don't know. I'm questioning it now. This this might actually be from our from our game. That's not a good indicator. Two DOMs in the in the DOB day is like a common thing. Yoshiyuki Tomino is the creator of Mobile Suit Gundam. You guys are wondering. That's why special thanks to him. He made it. I wonder how much longer the credits are. We're still on Earth. Oh, that's it. Anything happen at the end? On this day, Universal Century 0080, as the sounds of battle begin to fade away, the Earth Federation government and the Principality of Zeon sign a peace treaty signifying an end to this brutal war. For now. Because it's definitely not the end of that brutal war. I mean, technically it's still going on because they're making a new movie. <laughs> so. So right after these events, uh, Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam, well, there's a bunch of OVAs, then Mobile Suit Gundam Zeta Gundam happens, and then ZZ. What do we get? 
rank or our final rank was commander. We died four times. Our ally died fifty six times. Not bad. Oh, we're who the hell's Dimitri? We're a standard pilot, so we're not special. Game over. Wonder if there's a new intro now. Hold on. Some of the games do that. There's one in particular I'm thinking of. I think it's Journey to Jabro that does it. No. All right. So hold on. Let me uh sp stop the video here. Not the stream, just the video I'm recording. That is the end of the Xeon playthrough. Thanks for watching.